Hey what's up guys welcome to Nerd Out Gaming. On today's video I'm going to go over some tips and tricks and some things I've learned over um, playing Guild Wars 2 the last day or so and um, I've learned quite a bit in the last um, you know few hours of playing. I uh, wanted to share some stuff with you guys and uh, hopefully it'll be um, some stuff you didn't know and help you out on your journey. Alright guys I'm back. I'm inside a um, an instance quest right now and I uh, just wanted to show you some of the abilities basically as I uh, do this quest. So right now I'm playing as ranged because these guys do a whirlwind attack that is pretty devastating. I almost died earlier so uh, <laughs> I think I'll keep my distance from them. Hey for your disrespect. So yeah, basically, um, right now I'm ranged, and I wanted to show how easy it is to switch between, um, you know, your two weapon sets. So, I'm going to switch right now. Just by hitting tilde, I uh, switch into melee, and I'm immediately able to, um, I get a whole different, basically like if you switch tart, uh, Switch specs and wow, and you get a whole different set of abilities. And based on your weapons, that's you know what abilities you get. And the more you play that you know particular spec or whatever they want to call it, um, you know the more abilities you can unlock. So so you could start off range like at the beginning of the fight. You could switch, just shadow dance in there, shadow step rather. And then you could. I'll switch back. Got inflicted with the poison, so I'm going to use my little cloak vanish thing. Sorry, I'm using all wow terms, but you know, they, they work. You guys probably get the uh, picture of what's going on here. Alright, guys, so I'm going to try to take this boss out this time. Uh, this one has been pretty tough, I will say. I am level 7 though, and this is a level 8 uh, dungeon, so that could, you know, account for some of it. But um, I think I can do it this time. All the guards are dead except for me and the boss. A second. This is getting serious. Holy shit. Yeah, that's not cool. Round three or four, here we go. Just gonna go all out this time. And it's not gonna work either. Okay guys, so I'm entering the greater good um, instance, and they um, suggest level 8, but I'm level 7. Uh, the first time I tried this, it didn't work out so good, so uh, I'm going to be a little bit more careful this round, and hopefully I'll be able to do it as level 7 instead of 8. So here we go. The guards all died, and then I was tanking mobs and all kinds of crazy shit. So hopefully that doesn't happen this time. I 
gotta vanish here. That vanish will save your ass. Okay guys, so I just wanted to real quick touch on the, um, basically like the talent points you get in this game. And how this works is basically, um, you'll have like a couple abilities, and then as you get points, you upgrade them. So in the top right corner of this, um, little box that's moving, you see the little five and the diamond, the green diamond uh, icon thing so you need five of these unspent trait points and um, you get unspent skill points as well when you level up so you know you, you have to actually buy these abilities and so you can kind of pick like which ones you want first or whatever um, you know I, there weren't too many in this category I had a couple points that looked very great but uh, you know I did get the signet of malice which heals me when I attack and uh, spider venom seems pretty cool it'll it'll poison my next uh, five attacks so that's pretty cool anyways guys just want to show you that real quick we're down here I've seen her on this thing so I'm wondering Oh, there she is. Hey, baby. What's up? I'm gonna greet her. That was weird. It kind of glitched out there. I haven't seen that. This uh, this boss is actually pretty tough, though. Took me a couple attempts. No more. You win. Congratulations. You spoiled my greatest experiment. Too bad your friend Quinn won't be around to help you celebrate. What do you mean? Where is Quinn? He's dead, hero. We heard about the apothecary. You don't ruin the apex of my scientific career without consequences. Two-Blade Pete carved him up like a winter's day roast. You think this is funny? I'll kill you and your whole gang! Calm down. I'll make sure this piece of trash gets what's coming to her. Seraph, take the prisoner out before I chop her up and feed her to the harpies. Pete killed Quinn. Pete's gotta pay. I helped you, Captain, and now I'm calling in that favor. I want Two-Blade Pete in the ground. Agreed. Listen, Pete will be after you next. He can't afford to let you live. Meet me at the tavern, and when Pete comes for you, we'll be waiting for him. All right. But if Pete doesn't come to us, I'm tearing this whole city apart until I find him. I've been where you are right now. Don't lose control. Save what you're feeling and push to us responsibly. What to do now? So that quest uh, gave some pretty good rewards and XP. Um, it was pretty difficult, but it was probably worth the uh, the trouble. Um, I'm not sure if you can do these with a group or not. Uh, these are instant, instanced quests or story quests or whatever you want to call them. But um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more Guild Wars 2 footage. Until then, peace out.